Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Volvo V60. Then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre T4 Business Edition. 2016 on a 66 plate. One owner from new has done 56,733 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 37.7. Extra urban is 58.9. Combined is 48.7, a 0-60 time of 6.9 seconds, which is uh, pretty quick in uh, my opinion. Top speed of 140 miles per hour, out of 187 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Road tax is uh, pretty reasonable too. Six months is £79.75, and 12 months is uh, £145. It was last serviced on the 19th of the 12th, 2019. And the MOT is due on the 1st of the 3rd, 2021. So nothing to do to the car. It's absolutely mint as well. I'll just show you under the bonnet. We haven't cleaned this car as of yet. It's just as it's come in. And uh, if I just show you under the bonnet. It will help you understand how well this car has been looked after. Now where's the thing? There we go. So it's it's so clean under there. Uh, the whole car is beautiful as well. And it's obviously got twin catches at either side of the, the bonnet. Typical Volvo, just like you'd expect. Very, very safe car, well put together. Um, Clean Volvo estates usually fly out of the garage. Um, so we've got the multi-spoke diamond cut and black alloy wheels, the roof bar carrier system, and just in here, that looks like there's uh, whether the roof rack or a carrier system would bolt on too, just to secure it. Good tires all round. Electric boot release. We've also got the uh, integrated rear spoiler at the top there. 60-40 split rear folding seats. We've got this. Load blind. Little bit of space underneath here. I can't really lift it up because I've got all my photography gear in there. Beautiful, lovely and clean. If you've got a dog, Volvo Estates, ideal. Nice low loading back and we've also got reversing sensors there and the twin exhaust tips. Lovely in the back, cloth seats with contrast stitching, uh, lovely piano black, gloss black finish there on the door handles and also brushed aluminium. Um, they, they make a, a point of You've got uh, B-pillar ventilation here as well. Typical Volvo, the, the side impact protection system. Airbags in the B-pillar, airbags in the C-pillar. Volvo invented the, the three-point um, seat belt and uh, didn't patent it. They gave it to everybody else instead. So as you would expect, Volvo's really, really well built. Uh, one of my favorite cars, really. Um, Perhaps the, the, the styling used to be a, a bit old fashioned, but now it's, uh, it's just as nice as any other car, really. We've got this uh, load through as well. And that, that, <laughs> that weighs an absolute ton. Usually when I do cars and, and they've got the same feature, it's, it's not like a flipping weightlifting session when you let, you let the center section down. It's, these are so well built. Um, every, everything about them, cutouts, I've, I've put the seat forward otherwise I'd have never got in it where I had my seat but um, cutouts there for your, for your knees, just it's a, it's a lovely environment, nice light headlining, it's got the Isofix child seat anchor points in the back, it's even got a little switch here on the, the back, um, <laughs> if you watch this channel <laughs> A lot you'll you'll know that I normally get stuck in the back with child seats. I usually forget to check. I have checked this one, so I, I can get out. But now I've just noticed this little switch here that you can 
you can lock the doors from the uh, from the back, which is uh, an unusual feature. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. But you can also get out as well. I'll just take you for a ride in it. I uh, had to have a little laugh at myself then. I once saw a documentary with, uh, or a programme, and Elton John was staying at a hotel in the south of France, and some of the other guests were watching him play tennis. To be fair, he was, he was useless at tennis, and, and I'd have been embarrassed if anybody was watching me too. But he got in a complete strop and moved out of the hotel that day, took all his, he had something like 40 racks of clothing, and, and I thought, you know, what a pretentious. <laughs> and then I'm here from a little garage in Walton Dell, filming a car on a public road here, public footpath. And I was getting really annoyed because people keep walking past, <laughs> minding their own business, taking the dogs a walk, going for the shopping. <laughs> and I'm here filming a car and I'm getting angry. It's. Uh, <laughs> Get over yourself, Baz. Now everybody's stopped walking past, they'll take you for a ride in it. Really uh, lovely car inside and outside. As I said before, it's not been cleaned. So uh, it'll look even better if, if that's possible. So we've got the two Volvo keys there. The stop-start button. And uh, service history here. Let's just have a look. That's uh, body and paint inspection. Where is it? Blimey. Right to the back here. So, first service there 28th of 9th, 2017, at 18,535 miles by SMW in Belfast. Service number 2, 36,479 miles on the 11th of the 9th 2018 uh, Agnew Belfast and then it's come over to the UK 19th of the 12th 2019 at 56,633 miles and that's done at John Holland um, let me just bend the because I've not redacted the information yet so we'll just uh, oh it's, it's okay it's made out to cash sales so there we go, full service, oil filter wiper blades, front brake pads, rear brake pads, and two new tyres. That was done on the 19th of the 12th, 2019, and the mileage then was 56,633. So it was 100 miles ago it was done. And the cost of that was uh, £689.15, so I think we can safely say that no expense has been spared looking after this vehicle, as is usually the case with, with Volvos. Um, and also, it's got nearly half a tank of fuel in, which again is a typical Volvo owner. They, uh, they part exchange it, wanting for nothing, and also not needing fuel, which a, a lot of cars we get in. Um, are sadly lacking. Right, okay, let's just have a look. So we've got the height and reach adjustable steering wheel there. We'll get the electric door mirrors sorted and just check that they're working okay. Yep, that's it. So that's that's all fine. And we've got an electric handbrake, which let me just say, I've got my seat belt on, put it in gear. Yeah, it's it's gone off on its own. Um, without having to knock it off. So they're such good cars, Volvos. As I say, well built. They've always had, um, I think, more focus on safety than performance. And at one stage they had more focus on safety than style. 
my, my dad had a big 240, 244 DL, and the front bumper was about so big, and it was also on, you could you could run into something, and it, it had shock absorbers in it, so it, it would just move out of the way and, and then spring back. And <laughs> instead of parking sensors, that's how my dad used it. He used to just pull in until he hit the end of the garage. And uh, anyway, it was, it was fine. It's got a really good turn of speed, great gearbox. So nice, nice design. And it's a 2016. It's good to see for me that it's got proper switches, things that you don't have to take your eyes off the road in order to adjust your heater controls uh, on, on some silly display, um, some display that's that's probably going to write the car off in future years when it gets older. If it goes wrong, you're not going to be able to know what temperature you're, you're, you're at or, or anything because the screen's gone and no doubt the screen will be about two grand and the car will be about worth about a thousand pounds. So it seems a bit silly to me. So great gearbox, a lovely display. Got cruise control on the left here as well. Over here, if you go to my car, you can see there and click OK, the green button. Again, I, I can do this without without looking at the uh, at the display. But you've got there trip statistics, drive e, tire monitor, settings, service and repair. And if you go down to service and repair, you just click there and click OK. It says there to service 10 months or 18,003 miles. Bluetooth hands-free, it's got Bluetooth audio streaming, also there again it's cars with switches are, are kind of like braille books um, and, and I mean that in a, in a really good way because although without taking my eyes off the road I want to switch nav on that should be second one down. There you go, nav's come on. Because I'm knackered now, I can't actually do anything. Now I've found nav, but I can look at the pictures. I can't set it, but I'll show you how to set it later. Handles great. As I say, gearbox is nice and, nice and slick light clutch, easy to use, there you go, just kind of one finger, we've got a nice driving position, good armrest here just at the right height for me, having said that, uh, this seat height adjuster, and there's also at the front here, um, you can just change the rake of the seat as well, and then move it backwards and forwards, and then the, the, the backrest from a, a wheel on the side, which Unfortunately, I can't really get my hand down. <laughs> and I'd probably have to make, move the seat forward, open the door to adjust the backrest and then slide it back. But you can't have everything. But nice, nice clean design, brushed aluminium, piano black, gloss back, black around the, um, your, your radio controls here and all your other, your telephone, eject CD, radio media and um, there's a good sound system I'm just gonna oh no I can't get across there because there's somebody in an old Citroen oh, good Bennett right we're away 
the looks like the Citroen's gone in the outside lane here down the yep I am impressed with the speed on this uh, car but having said that mostly I drive diesels there we go 68 miles an hour nice clean clear speedo and if I click that on that should be cruise and then set it it's gone to 65 set it to 70 so we're doing 70 we're in sixth gear not a particularly clear rev counter but I don't suppose you need it all that much and we're doing 2,000 revs in six on the left hand side you've got the fuel gauge then you've got your eco meter speedo in the center which is uh, an analog and you've also you can display digital in the center just going to tap the cruise off here because everybody's well I didn't want to do that but <laughs> they uh, brightly covered colored Citroen C1 just kind of signal and pull out so uh, yeah the the digital readout in the center there and again I uh, I really wanted to be over there I didn't want to be letting them out and I think we'll get in front of here too fast there and all the lorries bunching up here try and get past it's on the sat nav there it's showing the, the junctions the next junctions and the, and the one after and uh, also by the look of it what facilities are at each junction so really good sat nav if I change to media here oh it's got audio paused So we'll click play. So really good, uh, really good sound system there. Can't play too long, or else uh, YouTube will knock the soundtrack off, which would mean you won't be able to hear my riveting conversation. So no, suspension's really good, no knocks or anything, and uh, no wheel wobbles, everything's, all the, all the tyres are good. But, uh, your electric window switches on the right hand side here, and again you've got this brushed aluminium, and it all comes into the, nice, nice touches like that, or made like the the door handle is, is part of the sort of decoration. The road holding is really good. As I say, Volvo Estates, at one time you would expect an old couple with a big dog to come and buy a Volvo Estate, but now um, I think it's... Uh, it's kind of anybody. Crime scene investigation there. Must be a lot going on in Preston today. There's cops all over the place. There's the the radio. to 50 in a couple of seconds really it's also telling me there where to change gear to shift gear on the right hand side that's the rev counter
there's an Audi behind me and I just want to kind of get up enough speed to give the suspension a proper check. That gearbox is, is superb really, here we go, yeah, no no knocks or cracks, to be fair I didn't, I didn't expect there to be, I mean being serviced a hundred miles a, a go. Another Volvo there, let's uh, Massive pothole there. So I'll, I'll finish the test drive shortly, uh, and I'll, I'll just show you how to work the sat nav, how to uh, pair a mobile, delete a mobile, and how to stream audio. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll have to do it when I get back to the garage because this has uh, integral headrests, and they don't have posts, which means I can't fasten the camera on there. And I need a camera pointing this way, so uh, I'll have to delay that. There you go. So you've got your climate control switches here. There was something which I didn't quite know what it was, but it's, it's this clean zone here. I need to look that up. Obviously, it means something to Volvo owners. Your lights are on the right hand side here wipers on the right, indicators on the left, and uh, also your main beam there, knock the main beam on. And you've got here, you can change the center display, messages, digital speed, TC options, service status, oil level, messages, no messages, so there's nothing wrong with the vehicle. It's uh, it's a lovely car, and it's, it's um, I think what the right word is for it really it's uh, it's got everything you need but it looks basic <laughs> so uh, it's kind of a stealth <laughs> vehicle really really good design thanks for watching I'm not sure what the next car will be um, but if you check out our website ggcars.co.uk um, we've even got new cars or access to new cars on there now and everything else you need uh, for your everyday motoring doesn't matter where you are in the UK there's access to servicing tyres spare parts and hopefully we'll be able to save you some money the, the, they are affiliate links so we will get a small commission for introducing you but the parts or services won't be any dearer than if you just racked up there uh, through a Google search and it, it does help keep this uh, channel going with cameras and so on so thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video